Hey guys, I have an interesting question for you. Well, let's hear it. Okay, let's say I give Donald $500 and I give Joe $1,000. Bro, what the hell, man? Why are you giving Sleepy Joe so much more money than me? Sounds good to me. Okay, okay, guys, cut it out. It's not real. It's a thought experiment. Let's say Joe starts with $1,000 and Donald starts with $500. I flip a coin. If it's heads, Joe gives Donald a dollar. If it's tails, Donald gives Joe a dollar. Okay, okay, let me guess. Whoever loses all their money first loses. Oh, I win easy then. How many times have you declared bankruptcy again? All right, all right. Yes, the game ends when one of you runs out of money. The question is, what's the probability that Joe wins? Wait, so this is just pure luck, right? Like 50-50? No, Sleepy Joe, wake up. You are more likely to win because Barack rigged it. You just have more money than me. That's right. Joe is more likely to win. But what's the probability? Oh, my brain is hurting thinking about it. Will the game even end? Okay, don't worry. A trick for these kinds of problems is to make it simpler. Let's say it's just $1 and $2. Keeping the same proportion. Okay, that's simpler. Wait a minute. If flip is tails, Donnie loses immediately. Yeah, that's why it's rigged. But also, if the flip is heads, then the tables have turned. I have $2 and you have one. Oh, hold on, that's interesting. Let's say the probability of Donnie losing, aka Joe winning, is P. Then the probability Joe loses is 1 minus P. Okay, yeah. Then we can break down Donnie's probability of losing, P. Half the time he just loses immediately, so we can write 1 half times 1. The other half of the time the situation gets reversed. So he gets Joe's probability of losing, which is 1 minus P. So we can write this equation. Hold on, you're cooking. Then all you have to do is solve for P. That's right. Now, give me a second. Okay, I got P as two-thirds. I guess that's the answer. Wow. Did you follow that, Sleepy Joe? I told you it's rigged. Uh, hold on, I thought of a different way of doing it. It uses expected value. At the end of the game, if I win, I have $1,500. Otherwise, I have zero. Yes, bro, there's no way you just realized. No, wait. Then, using the same P, you can write the expected amount of money I'm supposed to end the game with. Probability P, I win and have $1,500, otherwise I have zero. Okay, sure. Wait, that's just P times 1,500 then. Exactly. Except, since we are assuming it's a fair coin, I am equally likely to lose or gain a dollar with each coin flip. Therefore, my expected money should not change. Yo, that's crazy. So E should be 1,000, the amount you started with. Then you can set them equal and solve for P. Yeah, and you get the same answer, two-thirds. Isn't that cool? Okay, that's kind of cool. I didn't know Sleepy Joe could do all that. You're just mad that you lose the game. You're right. I demand a recount. Stop the count. There's literally no voting involved, man.